I'm Johnny. And as you can tell from the title, this is about numberology, not numerology. Not going to do it. Well, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of it because there's Discordia numerology. Wait, do you even know what numerology is? Okay, numerology is the idea that numbers have got a much bigger, larger significance in our lives and that they can tell us things about ourselves. But Discordia numerology is, it's the real thing, man. Basically, all things are directly or indirectly related to the number five, especially 23. The important thing about Discordia numerology is that the harder it is you look, the more apparent it is. I'm talking about numberology though. And numberology is this thing I just made up, but our brains work through associations. All right. When we see a coffee cup, our brain is already firing other neurons that relate to coffee cups, such as the flavorful smell of coffee or wanting to reach out and grasp that coffee cup or however it is that you use coffee cups, like putting pens in or putting your paints in or or make chocolate cake inside of. So as an idea relates to another idea, we start building these concept balls, if you will, inside of our heads. So when we learn about the number eight, for instance, we start building these concept balls around the number eight. So in fact, the number eight looks like two little balls, one stacked on top of the other. It's a concept eight ball, if you will. Eight, it's higher than seven, less than nine. It's two plus two plus two plus two. It's two to the power of three. It's two times four. All these things, all these ideas around numbers are all related to one another. But it goes deeper than that because you have things like the Tim Leary eight circuits of the brain model of consciousness, the eight trigrams of the I Ching, the eightfold path that those bloody moon pointers are always going on about. So numbers have associations like 303. I love the number 303. I mean, come on, who doesn't? Anybody who doesn't know anything about rave culture, that's for damn sure. There are definitely cultural associations, subcultural associations around numbers, but these things are a lot slippier than numerologists would have you believe. The experiences around numbers are going to be messy and personal. They're gonna come from things like your family, your experiences, your telephone number, which is super cool because all through your life, you start building these associations around number. Like I've said before, humans are pattern recognition machines. We all do this. Whether you're the staunchest of atheists or the numerologist of the numerologists, we're always building associations. So it can be kind of fun to play with that and to work with that. I personally don't go for numerology because it's very prescriptive. The idea is, is that each letter connects to a number, one to nine, and it repeats itself. And then you break your name down to these numbers and then that's got some meaning. So for example, let's take Johnny. And Johnny, the letters all line up to 965517. Hey, that double five, law fives. You add all that up and it's 33. And 33 is some sort of mystical number that means something. An enlightened master, part of the triangle of enlightenment. In fact, numerology is undeniable in its truth. Tips for single guys from Justine. If you're 25 or older and you're still living at your parents' house, it's time to move the fuck out. So yeah, that's why I dig numberology. It's kind of tongue in cheek. It doesn't take itself seriously. And when we're talking about our own cognitive biases, I think it's very, very important not to take yourself seriously. Remember, this is really just about how you experience this tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of the universe. You're not going to have an objective experience of the universe. And to think that you do is completely silly. So revel in it and enjoy it. I'm Johnny and numberology is fun.